It's, it's very exciting. Uh, working in a place like this um, where there's so much data already been collected and available, the spatial data, the environmental data um, is, is fantastic. It's in fact, uh, it's, it's, um, there's more data available here than in almost any other research forest in Canada, I think. So um, that opportunity is, is uh, unprecedented um, as well. Uh, we've had great cooperation with uh, Irving to, um, to provide data and to, to show us around and to, and to give us sort of the background that we need to understand how, how best to design the study. And so we have some really nice high-tech data here, remotely sensed um, data on tree composition and uh, vegetation structure um, and soil properties that we can use to, to understand what habitats birds are using. In certain areas of Blackbrook where there is old cedar trees and spruce trees we get brown creepers which is very interesting. Um, if you know where to look you can find Canada warblers and as well as in the riparian zones areas around water we get a lot of olive-sided flycatchers which is a species at risk. What this study is allowing us to do is it's, it's, it's letting us understand at a much deeper level the use of breeding birds of a whole range of different forest types and by combining the information that we have about those forest types we're able to project across the entire landscape at any point in time how much habitat is, is available for, for various groups of birds. We can monitor that and, uh, and basically it's a way of ensuring that, uh, that an important component of biodiversity, the, uh, the songbirds, is uh, that they have habitat across uh, the landscapes that we manage.